Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. In the last episode we had a mostly successful trip. Drug running? Uh, <laughs> we got caught a little bit, I had to pay off the man. It's fine, we still came out of it with a bit of a profit. Today I think we're going down to the Utter Shroom to see if we can get some of this sun-kissed cider that I need in order to find... Well, in order to be able to trade it. But what I need... To free the man out of the mirror. This is all one giant chain of quests for this. But uh, did I did I see my family at the end of the last episode? I do not remember. I, wait, why do I keep going to London? I want my lodgings. I did indeed. I'm going to read the morning papers while we're here as well. Got free supplies. I may... I... Do you know what? I might just spend the hundred and actually rest... Yeah, knock our terror right down. Uh, I The place I need to go uh, is the Empire... Not the Empire of Hands. Is it the Empire of Hands? I haven't actually found it yet. Which leads to some interesting problems, I will admit. Uh, I think I have done the seven... I've been told that it is seven... Blemigans that I needed to deliver. I think I have done that. Uh, yes, yeah, seven. So yeah, we go back to the Utter Shroom... I got five fuel. Is that enough? That's probably not enough. But I could pop down to the Iron Republic and buy some fuel there where it's dirt cheap. I've got 11 supplies. That's probably enough. Let's go with that plan. Let's go down to the uh, Iron Republic, buy some fuel. And then put, go across to the Utter Shroom. And then maybe come back to London to reset my terror. And then we have to find the Empire of Hands. My assumption is it's here, but it could also be here. There's only so many places I haven't seen. I just know that it's really far over, <laughs> which which makes exploration dangerous, to say the least. Going that far across the map, terror is my biggest enemy. Trying to maintain the terror level is going to suck really bad. Oh, please, fog. No fog. Don't do this to me. So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that it's like a million degrees in the UK right now. We've done like a full circle of uh, weather patterns. And now it's just hot. It's really sunny. It's quite nice. It, 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 it wakes you up. Let's put it that way. But the problem is my study is really warm again. So prepare for me to play like rubbish. <laughs> because I'm sitting here getting uncomfortable. Oh. One day. One day we'll have a solution for this problem. But the day is not today. Can I stick to these lamps? Do I want to stick to these lamps? I've just realised that my fuel is going down a lot quicker than I anticipated. Okay, let's just cut straight down and hope for the best. I probably should look at doing some more ship upgrades. I've got like 5,000 uh, echoes. Oh dear. Uh, this has not gone to plan. Can I get a guaranteed shot, please? Thank you. There it is. Figured I'd get it for the uh, terror reduction, if nothing else. Butcher for supplies. Ah, reset the hunger meter. That's not so bad. Oh, damn it. I need to go around the canal. Oh, I didn't. Did I do any of my port reports? Uh oh. That might be why I've got no fuel. Ah. <laughs> ah, uh, damn. This is what happens when I start an, uh, an episode with an actual objective. I'm like, aha! Let's go. <laughs> right now. That's going to dock at the uh, canal here. If I can pick up a poor report, that means I haven't done it. I, I did hand them in. If I can't pick up a poor report, that means I didn't. Listen for surface gossip. Damn it! Uh, oh, well, we got a vision of the surface. But yeah, okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Maybe, so I'll go to the other shroom, and then I'll go back to London, and we'll hand in all our poor reports, and then we'll go exploring. That's the plan. That's the plan. Big old fog bank to the right there. Let's hope we can uh, avoid that. Two barrels of fuel left. Well, three if you can. What's in the tank? Three-ish. <laughs> the ish is very important in that uh, equation. We are coming up, we get up on the Iron Republic, though, so we made it. 
It was a calculated risk that did pay off. That terror's not looking too bad at 13. Not that we've made it very far, but I think we can make it quite far without our terror being an issue, as long as we don't come into any problems. Because of course we could get stung with the nightmare at any time, I feel. And it could put a giant spanner in the works. Don't particularly want to fight that Trimene up there. Unless it's got unless it's one of the low health ones. Our hull is still a little bit beaten up from our last fight, but I'm cheap and I don't fancy repairing it. That'll bite me eventually. Iron Republic. Okay, well we may as well look at the market of hungers. Hunger quality is gone. Hmm. They're like, yes, you can. We will not buy it, but we will sell it. Let's grab... Let's just grab, like, lots of fuel. I mean, I'm just going to grab 20 fuel. Alright. That should last us for most of the time here. Now to the Atta Shroom, where there's a giant ass fog bank in between me and it. I could go under it, or I could go around it. Let's go around it, it's easier. I do need to spend more time under the water. And da Because. I still need to find that damn logbook. Oh, there's the music. Republican Dreadnought. Ah! No, thank you. Hard pass. I do not fancy pissing off a Dreadnought. I have. Uh oh. Ow! Run. Damn. I reckon we could have took him. I mean, that shot didn't only did like 10 damage, which I, I'd expect more, let's be honest. Hey, I could pick up some drugs. <laughs> you live and you learn. We're going back to London anyway, right? <laughs> I am just at Oh god, my menacing's at seven. I am just asking to be arrested. It's fine, look. What I should do is just keep going back and forwards and buying just lots and lots of it and selling it all at once. So if we do get caught and we do have to bribe the man, we can just be like, yo, 500 echoes, it's nothing. It's nothing. I remember when I wanted to be an honourable sailor. And then I saw money. And was like, that's easy money. It might be desperation money, you know, preying off of people's desperate needs to feel things in the neath. But money. It's good money, too. It's not like small money. It's big money. Let's just hope we don't get caught. <laughs> uh, it's becoming a running theme. One day, I should just play like, I don't know, if I if I die, the next captain's gonna be like a... Am I a priest already? What am I? I'm starting to think that I might actually already be a priest, because my hearts are high. I was gonna say I could play as like a priest who just refuses to touch drugs, but... It doesn't really fit that well, does it? The utter shroom. I really hope this, this is gonna work. A gift. Here we go. Zigawa, here, Shroom has something for you. How long ago? Best elsewhere now. Wait. How do I know which is the right one? Yeah, Shroom has something else for you. No more limbs. Maybe I can have both? Oh, gods. I know if I screw this up, I have to do it again. Oh, thank... The Lord! <laughs> that is what we're after. Ray Drenched Cider. And it did use all of my... Blemigans. Jesus. Sizzling with Cosmo... Oh God. Cosmogon light. It has absorbed radiations not of this earth. Some of its colours can only be seen in sleep. Okay, what does this say? The Shroomer won't touch it with her bare skin. Wise. Nor should you. It's scorched and twisted with the fungus flesh that it lies on. The Cosmogon glow 
has dyed the air around it. Mother of Mushrooms is grateful, explains the Shroomer. You've cast her far. She gives you a duel. Yeah, so Rage Ranch Cider. Apparently we can now trade that in the Empire of Hands after doing some stuff that I don't know about. So, knowing my luck, it's another huge story chain. But, it's a step in. Alright, oh, back to London. See if we can sell this, uh... How much, how much money did I spend on fuel? Oh, God. Like 300 echoes? Yeah, back to London. I'm just going to go the straightest route to London, I think. Maybe we'll come across some easy-picking pirates and see if we can refill our supplies, because they are starting to drop down a little bit. Bearing in mind that we were running at, like, 14 supplies for God knows how long. And then we, we forge an expedition to the Empire of Hands. Uh, and that could end catastrophically. I will repair the ship before we go off on one of those long adventures. I don't think my terror is going to get to 50 by the time I get to London if I take the most direct route, so I should be okay. I may look to see if there's any more upgrades we can do to the ship. Because we still have... If we upgrade both our guns, that might do me a, that might do me a, a good thing. Can we get, like, armor plates and stuff to increase our defense? I don't know. I still have an empty slot on this ship. Do I? I think I have an empty slot on this ship. I do. The bridge slot. I have nothing in the bridge slot. Maybe I should try and see if I can fill that. Are you easy? Are you easy? You're relatively easy. Oh, but you are in the damn fog. Can I get you out of the fog? Bloody pirates. I love the way I spend my entire time being like, yep, I'm not going in the fog. Oh, here we are. Hey, get that gun on the... Get the front gun. There we go. We destroyed a pirate frigate. Luton Scholar. Two supplies, one fuel, and a cache of curiosities. And it was supplies. Wonderful. Hard tack and water. Get out of the fog, please. Full speed ahead. Get us out. Unnecessary terror. It's my enemy here. I need to try and keep it down. I am not looking forward to our expedition into the uh, into the unknown. Because last time I went to Astaval... Ooh! Can I go to Astaval and fill up my my, uh, my box? My sun-catching box? Because that's more money. Big crab. I'm going to fight the big crab. Alright. Slow us down, full reverse, fire the cannons! Oh. Things like this, I wish I had fletching rounds. Oh dear. Ow. Dunk. There we go. I have used up quite a lot of the fuel I bought, which is mm, problematic. Uh, butcher it for supplies. Unprepossessing mess. Choice cuts. Oh. Wait, what? It's rather like eating trout, if the trout had tried to kill you a few hours ago. Take that. Ersatz trout. What is Ersatz trout? I feel like I've asked that question before. I don't know. Maybe I should Google that after the episode and I might understand what it means. Get this light here. What's my terror looking like? 32. Not too bad. I'm just happy we managed to get the item that we really needed, but it could still all go horribly wrong. Oh look, it's one of those blue ones. Let's not attack the blue ones, they're friendly. This, uh, this class frigate over here, though. Hi! Okay, sw swing it round, swing it round, swing it... Oh dear. Swing ah, you missed! Get the front cannon on it, there we go. There we go, come on. I forgot I could press the num keys to fire my cannons. I've been clicking them. There we go. Crippled, broken, already feeding the Z's, endless hunger. Well, let's investigate the wreckage. Let's uh, rescue the pirate poet. The 300 echoes, not bad. 
Uh, cache of curiosities, one fuel and one supplies. The cache of curiosities is... Fuel. Wonderful. That almost pays for the, uh, the trip we just did then. So now, all that could possibly go wrong is that we get caught by poor authorities with red honey in the cargo hold. But that could not possibly happen twice. Surely. I mean... I thought I had the grace of the of the Z gods last time, but it they got me. I need to I need to invest in secret compartments that you can buy in Geiger's Morn. I can't remember what slot they take. I guess it's one of the slots that I already have something more important in. Is it the one with the uh, the the stone men? The stone men. How long have I been playing Fallen London now? Why did I call them the Stone Men? That is not their name. Uh, the Clay Men. There we go. <laughs> Close. They fall in London. I should say fall in London things. Or fall in London, sunless skies, sunless seas. I haven't played much of Fallen London recently. I play the exceptional stories. Um, obviously, I record them. But uh, I haven't actually played much of the game. I keep getting lost. The game is like hard to find out what's going on. One of these days I should put comprehensive, like, tutorials or something on that so I can understand it myself. It will force me to understand how the game works better. I'm much better than I used to be when I first started, though. Okay, here we are. Wolf stack docks. So, what we got to ask for is the, the, the uh, Ministry of... It's not busy. Public Decency? I think I'm going to hide it. What's the... Uh, maybe. Maybe. It's better than losing more. There's no laws against red honey in London. But they won't... That won't stop the Ministry from seizing it if they find it. Come on, we need the... The coin flip in our favour. Go! Bugger! <laughs> the duty officer uncovers your shipment with ill-concealed glee. She confiscates it, ostensibly for destruction. She puts a thick black mark against your name in her ledger and demands a stiff fine. Well, bugger. We also lost favours with the Admiralty. Well, damn, damn, damn. Okay, it's not worth doing that. Oh, oh, mate. You've, haven't you just seen me get in trouble with the police? Where do you want me to go? The picture good luck. Oh, the Khan's heart. The Khan's heart. It's easy money. I'm gonna get that way anyway, so. I'm just writing it down so I don't forget. Because this one is a dangerous quest to bugger up. Okay, so, well, I'm a little bit lighter in the pocket than I used to be. That one stung me pretty bad. I lost like 900 echoes on that run there. Let's let's not run drugs for a while. I think I'm on a few watch lists. Ah, I dropped my pen. Okay. So, where does the ray drench cider go? I guess it goes. Okay, it's a special. It's a special item. It's a curiosity, so it doesn't take up hold space, which is which is good. Oh, it's a good thing you didn't find my romantic literature that I forgot I had. Uh. First things first, let's go to hand in our... I think I lost my Admiralty's favour to the point where he won't even talk to me anymore. Uh, okay, Vanderblight. Ten Echoes, one Fuel. The Canal, five Echoes. The Utter Shroom, fifty Echoes, one Fuel. How do we gain more Admiralty's favours once we've done this? Like, I guess once you get there... I'm going to do the Iron Republic last. Out of Cats. 30 Echoes, 1 Fuel. Polythrim. Ah. Uh... Let's just... 
see if there's anything in here we can sell. I'm going to sell that Birkin of Prisoners, honey. Wait, did those solace fruit take up space? It might... No, they don't. I was going to say, I could sell that pair of Parabola linen, but I, I need some of that to, to uh, hire an officer, so maybe not a plan here. Uh, wait, who the bloody hell buys? Ah, oh, there it is. Sell. Should I just sell it? Should I just sell it? I can always get more of it, right? Let's go with that option. Uh, and then we go to... London. The survey office. How many of these do I have left? Oh, Jesus, I have loads. Uh, well, the hood would probably be worth more. The hood and rack. If the echoes one fuel, there we go. I think now my inventory is full again. Yes. There's nothing saying that we're not fully prepared for this little trip of ours, but let's spend our time in our lodgings, spend some time with our family. Lost 20 terror, down to 18. I may rest again uh, in my lodgings, just to knock it down as far as it will possibly go. It's probably a waste of echoes, but I'm not taking any chances. Uh, right. Empire of Hands. I definitely haven't been there. I don't think I have. I think I have a mission to go and find something in the Empire of Hands. From the Admiralty? I have it written down somewhere. Hmm. At least I thought I had it written down somewhere. Admiralty? Oh no, that was Mangrove College. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's see if we can find it. We've got about 10 minutes left of the episode. I'm sure I can get to a port that's somewhere on that side of the map without dying. First things first, though, we go to the Carnet. Pick up the cheery man's cargo. Otherwise, we'll have a nasty a little visit from the Blind Bruiser. And with the way my luck is going, I'm probably going to get seized by the blooming... The other police. But do they both come at the same time? <laughs> could, I, could I like put some red honey in the cargo and then put some souls in the cargo and be like, well, only one of these guys is going to show up. That ship just vanished. I think we came to the terms that it was them docking at the islands, but that's not an island you can dock at. Which, whoops, wrong button. That's how, yeah, it's literally just straightforward. The Carnet is in a really nice place on this, on this particular map. It's like just right in front of London. I know this isn't the best for Terra, and I should really care more about <clears throat> keeping my Terra low. But I'm not going to fight that crab. But there's an argument to be said that the, as the crow flies is the quickest way, so I'm probably doing a better job of staying lower Terra by avoiding going the longer route with the lights. That's my logic. I don't know if that's true, but that is my logic. It's probably flawed logic. Normally is. A dubious maelstrom. Love the name of that place. So awe inspiring. Uh, hmm. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I'm by Pigmount Isle. Uh oh. Ah! Ah! Error has been made. I accidentally went into the dubious maelstrom. Not part of the plan. I could stop off at Geiger's Morn and get a port report, but people normally die when I get the port reports from Geiger's Morn, so maybe not a good idea. Born Vader's Pillar. What are you? Crack pirates? Crack pirates. I like crack pirates. I, I forgot to repair the damn ship. Whoops. Stay behind them and this will all be okay. Swing it round. There we go. She's a vile old vessel. Uh, 
two supplies? Oh dear, is this where I'm going to knock myself over? A stout crate? A fuel? No, that's okay. That pays for the light. <laughs> Using the light in combat makes combat so much quicker, so... But it does use up fuel. 12 supplies and 22 fuel. We can't say that we're not ready for this. I am trying to work out if I actually have enough time to start looking for the Empire of Hands now, or if it's going to have to be in the next episode. It's probably going to have to be in the next episode, let's be honest, but at least we have a goal. Is that another crack pirate? No, it's just a normal. Well, in for a penny. Drive-by. Oh, maybe not a drive-by. Loot and Scala, two supplies and two fuel. A firkin of honey. Uh, oh, bugger. Uh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. I, I pushed me luck. Luck bought, fought back. I haven't got a very big cargo hold in this ship. Wait, yeah, can't hard. <laughs> I was like, I haven't gone past the Karnat, have I? That'd be annoying. Let's hope we don't come across the Karnat's guards. They're one of the few ships that I really don't like fighting. For pretty obvious reasons. Uh, you lose favour with the Karnat every time you blow one up, which kind of makes sense. But I, I still need to be friends with the Karnat. I just don't understand how to raise it very well. I, I think it revolves around delivering lots of beans. Coffee beans, that is. Oh yeah, it's been a while. At one point, this was in every episode of this soundtrack. This gets stuck in my head so much. I, I don't even. I'm not even joking. Right, can't help. Let's uh, collect the cherry man's cargo. You meet a blue priest in a tiny noodle shop by the Moon Canal. Fizzing electric light shows the weary lines in his face. You have my money? He asks. Oh, your stupid imperial coins. No, give it here, it'll do. It's what was agreed. Take this, go. You never saw me. So, instead of me frantically trying to get to the find the empire of hands and docking before i run out of time at the end of this episode i guess i will end it here we're not too shy of a full episode um so we got the right to cider we're going on an adventure what more could we ask for it'll make the next episode all the more interesting thank you very much for watching please like subscribe let me know what you think your comments are greatly appreciated especially when they tell me things like this i cannot thank you enough for telling me about the right range cider <laughs> As always, I'll see you next time.